Hi, Magdalena here, Wolf of Coins. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm a bit late with this spread because it's been circling around for quite some time now, but I was, yeah, I was just in another time and space for a while. So I'm back now. And yeah, I wanted to do a spread that I saw um, Lisa from Tarot Alchemist do on her channel and also Jennifer from uh, Jennifer Ball's Spiritual Garage. Hi ladies. Um, so yeah, before I begin, I'll just say this is the, the, the deck that I'm using is a steampunk tarot and I've been reading some cool books recently and I'm I'm in search for more steampunky goodness. So if you know about any uh, fun uh, steampunk novels, please let me know that you can recommend. And yeah, let's start with that. Um, so uh, this spread is from a book. Um, if I remember correctly, three hundred. Uh, 65 spreads yes so the book is 365 tarot spreads by Sasha Graham and let's start um, I will be showing these to the camera anyway because it it cuts around the edges so first position is castles what security do I have and I got the star. This is the Czech edition, by the way. So, yeah, a beautiful Czech edition with copper edging. Can you see that? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so the star. Well, it was a beautiful card to pull for this position. I think it means... Um, that I have my dream in front of me and I know what I want, which is not which is not always so easy to have. So I think the security that I have is in the fact that I know what I what my dream is, what my direction is, where I want to go. Then uh, islands, where can I escape to? Ta-da! It's the magician. I think it might mean uh, this, the cards, mm, my hobby, uh, tarot and other uh, card systems, they, um, yeah, they help me relax, um, they help me contemplate some things in my life, and obviously I need them, so I think that's what the magician here means. And then Highlands, what elevates me to a higher place? Yeah, it's a third major arcana, you guys. And that is not all. <laughs> anyway, it's the Wheel of Fortune. And I thought, um, like, the obvious thing is that a change is coming that will elevate me. That will it will uh, yeah, take me up. But also this um, card is, you know, it's a steampunk tarot. So it has all those kegs here. And I don't know if you can see it. Some um, mathematical quotations, equations, goodness, equations and uh, pictures, everything. I... I suppose it means uh, work, that in order for this change to happen, I need to put a lot of work into it, which I'm doing, so it makes sense. Then, mist. What mystery is rolling into my life? And it's a fourth major arcana, it's the hangman. And this mystery is a bit mysterious for me because I'm not sure what it's supposed to mean. Uh, it's possible that there, there is something coming uh, that will be stopping me on my journey. So this is not fun. 
This is not fun, but we will see. Then tartan. Where do I belong? Yep, it's a fifth. Major Arcana card. I swear, you guys, I shuffled the deck and then randomly pulled the cards uh, from a fan. You know, somehow, somehow I already have five Major Arcana. So this is Strength. And I see it as a um, message that uh, I need to be strong. My... Uh, I ought to be in a place of strength now, uh, to be able to help others, but also also myself. I think there's, you see this, this Lemnus cat, it's pink, and it makes me think about self-love as well. So this is important. I shouldn't forget about it and try to support myself. Also, I'm really wondering how on earth this lion got this into his paw and not only he did in this into his paw, but also on this side. I mean, really, when he walks, I suppose he should get it here, no? <laughs> but it's I'm just getting distracted. Anyway, strength. Then, Heather, what magic is growing in my life? Ta-da! It's not a major arcana card. Uh, it's the Page of Wands. And the first thought that came into my head was about my son. He's four now. He's changing so much every day. He's learning so much every day. Uh, he is very much into engineering stuff, you know, Lego blocks and constructing his own, um, yeah, building his his own vehicles and weapons and whatnot. So I really thought about him. He is this magic in my life that I should pay attention to because he's he's changing so much every day and I should, you know, follow him and support him. And then whiskey. Um, what end of day activity should I indulge in? Ta-da! It's the sun. <laughs> it's a six major arcana card here. Oh my goodness. It's really strange. Anyway, um, I thought it might be dancing. Like they dance here. Also going out, out to the sun, something like that. Maybe on a walk. We don't have a dog, but we could go for a walk. And fairy. This is the last position. It's fairy. Uh, what supernatural aid is available to me? And it's a knight of cups. And it's, yeah, this deck has a bit strange knights because they don't have real horses. There's a horsey here, but yeah, I don't, I'm not sure how it, this is a page and this is a knight. They are pretty similar. <laughs> anyway, um, and it's, uh, and I suppose these knights are women. So what I thought here Oh, but not all of them. The coin one is, is a man. At least him. I'm getting very distracted today. Uh, so yeah, what I thought here, I, I had to think for a little bit. And I couldn't put this card into one slot. So I thought it meant... Um, like that the aid, there is a multiple aid available. I saw uh, my goddess here with the cup and it's a woman, but also this is a knight. So I thought about uh, one of the gods that are close to me. So I think, um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting all the support that I need and I only need to reach for it. And out of curiosity, I looked at the bottom of the deck where I cut the deck and I got a major arcana. <laughs> it's the Hierophant. So 
I see this as a message to um, be open to people. Like, even if I have some wisdom, I shouldn't keep it to myself. I should try to try to share it with others. And also, like these children, be open to knowledge. Um, to try to listen. There is this beautiful tree. I love the idea of wisdom as the Hierophant and the tree together. So, I hope you've enjoyed. And... If you have any steampunk book recommendations, please let me know. Or movies. I like movies too. And uh, I'll see you again hopefully soon. Bye.